All right, so let's start this broadcast with the updates that are coming in from Myanmar, where Myanmar's political crisis is worsening. And according to the latest updates that have come in, over 180 people have been killed so far since the 1st of February. Now, thousands of people are also said to have been injured after they participated in the demonstrations and many thousands have been detained. Now, earlier, the military had imposed martial law in Myanmar's commercial capital, Yangon, and since the announcement, hundreds of thousands of people have in fact fled from the region, fearing for their life and security. So this is what the scene was like once martial law was imposed in Yangon, which is the largest city in Myanmar. People wanted to get out of it as soon as they could. Now remember, the crisis started on the 1st of February when the army deposed the controversial civilian leader Aung San Suu Kyi. This sparked a bit of a political unrest. The anti-coup demonstrations have now entered into their seventh straight week and security forces have resorted to heavy-handed riot measures. The using tear gas, rubber bullets, water cannons and live ammunition to shoot at the protesters directly to try and see if the protesters would still come out onto the streets. The last Sunday was the deadliest day of all. Local reports have suggested that nearly about 74 people were killed in a span of just 24 hours. The Yangon Sliang Tharyar Township was one of the worst affected areas. More than 40 people were killed by the security forces in protests in the region on Sunday. And several factories were also set ablaze. The Liang Tharyan is Yangon's garment producing area. Much of most of these factories that operate in this region are all Chinese owned. And after Sunday's deadly violence, China's broadcast network CGTN has warned against any further attacks on Chinese owned businesses within Myanmar. He also issued a statement that read, and I quote, China will not allow its interest to be exposed to further aggression. If the authorities cannot deliver and the chaos would continue to spread, then China would be forced into taking more drastic action to protect its interests in Myanmar. Now, it remains unclear as to who is behind these arson attacks, because remember, no one has claimed responsibility for them so far. However, since the beginning of the protest, the protesters have been very suspicious of the Chinese administration. Many of the demonstrators believe that Beijing is actually backing the coup and the military. Unlike other nations, China, remember, has not condemned the bloody crackdown that's unfolding in Myanmar. Instead, it has prevented the Security Council, the United Nations Security Council, from also denouncing the military's action in a coup. And interestingly, China has described Myanmar to the incidents unfolding in Myanmar as a domestic and an internal matter to Myanmar and therefore has said that other nations should be circumspect in commenting over the unfolding developments in Myanmar. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.